Good morning, boys and girls. How are you? I miss you. And I've got today's story. So next week is our spring break. So you get a break off of having to do work at home, which means you'll also get a break from the stories. Um, I might be able to try and get a few on. I'll try my best. All right. So today's story um, since Easter is coming up, it's not this Sunday, but the next Sunday, I figured we'd do How to Catch the Easter Bunny. All right. The author is Adam Wallace and Andy Ellerton. It has both their names, and it says they're the authors and the illustrators. So they wrote the words and drew the pictures together. All right. So we're going to read How to Catch the Easter Bunny. All right, this is my title page, How to Catch the Easter Bunny. I've been working long and hard with all my peeps and crew. We've made the eggs, and now I'm here to bring them all to you. There's, there's Ross. <laughs> he wants to hear the story, too. My name, my real name's a secret. My friends call me E.B. My special job means I must hide my true identity. All right, he has the initials E.B. What do you think E.B. might stand for? Easter Bunny, maybe E for Easter, B for Bunny. Down here, his desk, he's got a nameplate that says Mr. Bunny. But it says that his true identity is a secret. You can't know his real name. What else do you think his name could be? Oh, here comes Ross. <laughs> I'm glad he didn't jump on me. That would have scared me. Look at his coffee cup. You see it? It says world's best hopper. That's funny. Yes, I'm the Easter Bunny. I'm coming to your home. If you have Easter spirit, then you just might see me roam. Roam means him walking around. You just might see him roam. This first trap is quite simple. Just carrots on a plate. I'm lightning fast to catch me. You'll need some better bait. All right, so the first trap where they tried to catch the Easter bunny, they put out a plate of carrots. Because bunnies like carrots, right? But he was too fast, he said. That wasn't good enough. He got the carrot and got away. A hole that's covered by a rug will never cause me strife. Have you forgotten what I am? Burrowing's my life. All right, so he's a hole isn't going to catch him. They left a, a rug with a hole a hole with a rug over it and thinking he'd fall into the hole and they could catch him. But burrowing, a burrow is what animals who live underground dig for their home, like a groundhog, rabbits, gophers, things like that. So burrowing's his life. He means you can't stop me with a hole. I'll just dig my way out because I do it all the time. So that didn't catch him. Now, this is much more like it, a fully lit dance floor. I'll do a little hip hop, then dash behind the door. Silly bunny, he's dancing. This next trap is quite clever. Clever means smart. Made by brilliant engineers. An engineer is somebody who designs things like buildings and things like that. Um, they might make, um, they use, sometimes they make um, different structures, different gadgets um, to help design buildings and other things. So an engineer is somebody who creates something. All right, so if they engineered something, they created something. But it's hard to catch a bunny who has supersonic ears. 
So I'm going to read that again. This next trap is quite clever, made by brilliant engineers, but it's hard to catch a bunny who has supersonic ears. So supersonic means he has good hearing. He can hear really, really good. You want to catch me for my eggs and magic, bas magic basket too, but I've been hiding Easter treats since 1862. So he said, I've been around a long, 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 long time. You're probably not going to catch me. <laughs> this trap nearly gets me, but check out all my hops. Watch me dodge the flying fish and the cherry yogurt pops. Ooh, that one almost got him, but he got away. I switched my size from two feet tall to something small and gray. Your Easter spirit is so strong, you see me right away. It says, danger, keep out. Um, caution, radiation hazard. I leave so many Easter treats, no children will be sad. But when they see that I've escaped, they'll all be hopping mad. So he leaves some treats, which they like, but they can't catch him because he's too fast and too clever, too smart. So that makes him a little mad. The Bunny Tumbler 2.0 sure takes me for a spin. But I've got lucky rabbit's feet. Oh, he's spinning on it and almost got him. But he got away. And I know I'll always win. I didn't get them, but that was a close one. With all the treats delivered to children, big and small, I've got one special stop to make to my favorite kids of all. Favorite kid of all. See you next year. All right, boys and girls, so in the story, were they able to trap and catch the Easter Bunny? No, he got away. There was some that almost got him, but he got away. But he did leave him treats, so I'm sure that'll make him feel better. All right, if you were to design a trap to try to catch the Easter Bunny, what would you use? What would you make your trap out of? So draw a picture or tell somebody at home what you would draw as your trap, what would you use and what would you make to trap the Easter Bunny if you were going to try? I love you, boys and girls. Bye-bye. Come here, Rossi.